they're just aggressive feeders. They're pretty insane, probably more insane than any angler in this room. But they'll pretty much deal with the fast current. Bass are the laziest fish you'll ever catch. This goes for freshwater bass or any type of bass species. They're going to look for the easy target bait. They're going to look for where there's fast moving water, but where they don't have to spend a lot of time swimming in. Where they can spend a lot of time um, in spots like this, right on these edges, right here by these bars. And they're really looking for bait patterns that are getting flushed out from this rip, you know, whether it's, you know, mullet, whether it's, uh, whether it's rain bait, whether, whether it's um, bunker, it doesn't matter what it is. If there's a bait, bait being pulled through these troughs and these rips, and look for the bait, right? Watch for bait in the water. And you're going to start, if you see this rip and you see bait kind of congregating in here, ultimately this rip is going to catch them and pull them out. And these bass are just hanging in these spots, and as this bait's kind of flushed out, they are basically coming out and ambushing, and they're skipping right across to the other side. They're not spending a lot of time swimming in here. They certainly aren't sp spending too much time coming this way. Again, because they're just here to eat. They're not here to work very hard. They're kind of kind of like uh, like me, I guess. I don't want to work too hard on my food. I want to just go eat it. Um, so those are good areas. What I'll also find is that when you're closer to the change of the tide, where it's a little bit more towards slack, and the beach slack tides are pretty quick, not like an inlet slack tide that takes hours to actually converge and move from incoming to outcoming, outgoing. Um, if this is not such a fast moving rip, but you know it's there, you'll tend to see a lot of bass, very, uh, a lot of bait in these areas, in these troughs, hanging very low between the breakers, it's calm water, they feel that they're pretty safe. Um, these are a great area to start casting, and I, and I, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to get in this slide too much about what you cast, but pretty much, and when I'm fishing a deep trough, I really like the deeper swimmers. I'll be throwing bucktails in here, I'll be throwing storm shads in here, I'll be throwing um, uh, metal lip swimmers into this area. Very close casts. You know, this is a con I've, I've actually purposely gone fishing with that seven and a half, eight foot pole over there, knowing that it was early in the spring and there were a lot of schoolies being held up in this one area. And people were casting their 11 footers out here and not catching anything. And I was just having a ball. Felt like I was catching 50 pounders on my light gear. And I was targeting a specific size fish in a specific area. And they were held up here right around the change of the tide. Once that tide changes, right, uh, and I start to see this rip motion, I tend to fish off these points. Never fishing straight down the rip. And I'm targeting the bar right behind the breaking wave. So as the wave is breaking and it's causing white water, my lure is being pulled behind the wave into the breaking white water. And I tend to find that I do really well hitting just on the backside of the breaking wave where my, before, so prevent my lure from tumbling right in the wave. But as soon as the wave breaks and I'm behind it, my lure will tend to f swim right through the middle of that kind of boiling water versus breaking curl, right? Which just flips your lure all over the place. Try to get it behind it enough so that my lure is actually coming through the white water, and I've caught some tremendous fish in that type of area. I'm also fishing deep into these troughs. These are typically castable for most anglers, for pretty much any tide, Use, especially if you've got a close breaking bar. Again, this is not an exact science, guys. You may only see one sandbar here. I just kind of wanted to give a, you know, a multi-dimensional picture of what you could see in areas that you would target. Um, so, so those are pretty much the areas I like to fish. Um, I am going to do some distance shots. Sometimes when I'm getting towards uh, the tide is starting to drop, and I know I can get out to that deeper water when the water's getting very skinny here, um, and the fish have either moved out, not to say that the fish aren't here sometimes, but when I find that these are void, these pockets are void, I'm really pulling out my three ounces, and I'm trying to get out just to the insides of these bars, to the outer portions of, of the drain or the rip. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions?